we're going to talk about the best way to make sure that you are on track to reaching your financial freedom goals. Hey guys, my name is Arianne and this is my better half, Chris. We created this channel so good people like you can retire with passive income and have financial freedom. So today we're going to talk about something we call the family meeting. And Chris is going to talk about why it's important and how it's going to help us get to our financial freedom goals. Yep. So if you listened to the last videos, part of the crux when working with your family is to be on the same page and to communicate well. So we had to have a way to systemize that where we do it more frequently and build a habit around it so that we constantly stay in lockstep instead of drifting apart. So one of the major benefits of this meeting is that it helps you get back on the same page on a week. We do it on a weekly basis um, to make sure we can't drift too far before we course correct and decide to adjust. And a big component of this is the, the concept that what gets measured improves, right? So if you're keeping track of something on a consistent basis, you're going to see if it's moving in the direction you want it to, or if it's moving in the direction you don't want it to, and you make a change, right? It gives you a lot of that quick feedback so that you can make quick adjustments before they become big adjustments later. Keeping these meetings consistently, these family meetings consistently on your schedule will help make sure that you both end up where you actually want to go instead of looking up a year or two later realizing that you're not where you want it to be. So if you don't already have a weekly family meeting that talks about your family goals and family finances, make sure you add a calendar event right now. It can start as a 30 minute meeting and we're going to talk about what you typically talk about at these meetings. So sometimes when we hear the word meeting, we get scared like, oh no, like it's like too formal, whatever. Like all we really mean by that is there's just this specific time that you dedicate to talking to each other about your family's goals and family's finances. So you're going down the right track. It doesn't have to be like in a boardroom or you don't have to have spreadsheets. You don't have to have a whiteboard. You don't have to have any of that. It and it's not another one of the meetings at the office. It's not, a, it's not the same boring meeting in the office. It doesn't really mean much to your life. This meeting is actually fun and useful. Yeah, it's where we talk about what we want to do with our lives. So this is a weekly family meeting. If you haven't done like a whole goal setting session before. So that's actually going to be the first one you do. Usually every year we have like a bigger annual planning meeting where we look at what were last year's goals and how did we do? And do we want to change directions this year? Or do we just want to add to it? No matter what it is, it could be different, right? We're all different people. We're in different stages of our lives. We have different financial goals. So your goals might be different than ours. So we're not going to tell you like what your goals need to be. The point is just you talk to your family and ask, what do we want to do this year? And there might be different components to that. You might have a health goal. You might have a financial goal this year, right? The financial goal might be, we want to increase our gap by a certain amount, meaning you increase the amount between what you make and what you spend so that you can have more money to invest. Or maybe your goal is to invest invest a certain amount so you can have more passive income. Whatever it is, just write it down and say that here's an example. Maybe your example is to increase your passive income by a thousand dollars a month in this year, right? Then each quarter you would add $250 each quarter, right? That would add to a thousand dollars a month by the end of the year. So now you have a quarterly goal and then that goal is what you talk about at the weekly meeting. So your main goal for the financial thing is how do we get to an extra 250 a month in passive income this quarter? And then you break that down even more. Are you going to invest passively? How are you going to find the people you can invest passively with that can get you $250 a month? Or are you going to find your own deal? Whichever it is, just write it down. And then each week, that's what you talk about. What is the one thing that's going to get us closer to that point where we're having this extra 250 a month in passive income? Yeah. So again, at the, the high level, you're planning a goal or a direction for your life, for your family's trajectory, right? You break it down to quarterly and that is still, it's a still a high level goal for that quarter. If I do these things for these quarters, it will add up to that big overarching goal. Once you get down to weekly, it, it becomes more tactical, right? You're starting to think of action items. What is the one thing I can do that will get me to that quarterly goal this week? Just think about it. It goes from broad to very specific. By the time you get down to the weekly or the, even the daily plan, you're starting to get much more tactical. And for the weekly meetings, so the way we typically hold ours is we look at our overarching goal, right? So if this is the goal for this section of our lives, how did we do last week in relation to that goal? Usually each week we'll 
find one thing that will move us closer to the goal. So basically we ask ourselves, did we do our one thing last week? If we did, we check it off. If we didn't, then we figure out why, why not? <laughs> Is it the wrong one thing, right? Maybe we were focused on something that wasn't actually gonna get us there. Maybe that's why we couldn't do it. Or did we drop the ball and maybe we didn't spend enough time on it. So whatever it is, we just figure out what happened and then change something for next week. If you do something over and over without changing, that is like the definition of insanity, right? Like what's the definition? Yeah, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Yes. So we can't do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result because we are not insane. Mm. Maybe. So this is actually really important, right? So one of the things people get lost on is when they get down to the, the tactical level, they they tunnel vision in on that thing without re-relating it back to the main goal. If this tactical thing you're doing does not get you closer to the main goal, it's the wrong tactical thing. So this step in the meeting, this looking back at what happened, did what we do last week get us closer to the main goal? And if the answer is no, there's a problem that we need to resolve. So once we finish all that problem solving steps and figure out, do we have to change the goal or did we finish it? Do we have a new one thing this week? We decide, okay, this is now the one thing this week and then that's what we're gonna move towards. Realistically, there's usually like little pieces to that one thing, right? So that's where we divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. We'll say, hey, this is what Chris is gonna do and this is what Ari's gonna do. So we don't do the whole thing we talked about at the other video where we just do the same thing twice and frustrate each other, and right? This this part got really done and this got not done. <laughs> right. Ah. So yeah, so all the little steps for the one thing, we divide and conquer, and then the next week we can make sure that it's actually done. Yeah, I actually wanna throw in something here. Depending on the age of kids, if you've got kids in your family, once they get to a certain age, they can actually start participating. We encourage you to, to involve your family, as much of your family as you can in this process because you're all on the same ship together. You're all trying to go in the same direction. It, it will also help them learn this process and build this habit young, which will get them light years ahead of we were. Yeah, wouldn't it be great if you had this habit built in and when you got married, you just automatically did it? Like, that would be amazing. The other thing we do is we look at our financial freedom calculator. So we have this software that we use at our Wealth Gym um, company where we see our income, our expenses, our gap, and then how much passive income. So if you don't have that, you can do make the same thing, right? Yeah. Like make your own, just write down how much of those numbers are and just keep track of your progress. It's really important to keep track because like Chris said, what gets measured improves. You also need to remember that you gotta celebrate those wins. Mm -hmm. So if this week you increased your gap by a hundred dollars, celebrate that, right? Like high five each other or whatever you, you know, you do fist mm -hmm. bump, whatever. Don't spend the hundred dollars, but celebrate. Yes, celebrate, <laughs> don't necessarily spend it until you have passive income, right? The passive income you can spend, remember, not the active income. The financial freedom calculator we actually really like a lot because it's the, the KPIs we used to track manually a lot um, that really moved the needle for us. If you don't know which things in your world move the needle, figure out what those are and keep track of those consistently. Those should be what you talk about at this meeting. We actually have a video about like what those things to keep track of are. So make sure you watch that. I'm gonna put it in the description below and put it up here. Short version is you wanna make sure you keep track of your gap, that difference between what you make and what you spend, and then also how much passive income you have. If you just focus on those two big things and increase those each and every week, each and every month, and it doesn't have to be a big increase, it could just be a small increase, but if you increase those each and every month, then one day you're gonna see that, oh wow, I don't ever have to work anymore, which is because my passive income pays for everything now. That's how we have unlimited amount of dates now, because we put our active income into assets that get us passive income, and then now we have enough passive income to go on dates. Our bottleneck right now is how much exercise we have to do so we don't gain too much weight from the dates. Anyway, <laughs> nice little segue. Hopefully this helps guys. Make sure you click that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you can see our next videos when they come up. We also have a free Facebook group called Faster Financial Freedom, where you can network with other people who are on the same path to financial freedom, and some of us who are there already. All right guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.